What's up, everybody? This is your friend, the Black Sheep here. And, um, you know, I just, I had to hop on here. I thought today was going to be a day just like any other. Um, I lost my good job a couple months ago, so I've been doing uh, overnight uh, overnight stock for a retail chain. And then I go and I do DoorDash during the day. So my days are very long and, uh, you know, I'm very tired. Um, however, when I did get some free time in there in the afternoon, it dawned on me that the Ben Askren, Jake Paul fight was, uh, was, was happening this, this evening. And, uh, you know, it's a hot ticket. Everybody wants to see it. I, for one, wanted to see, uh, Jake Paul, get rocked. And I really, uh, believe I'll, I'll, I'll put it that way because I don't want to spoil anything for you. Ben Askren being a professional, having Olympic experience, MMA experience. I don't know. I just, I, I thought that it was a no brainer. Uh, and on top of that, Paul is such a piece of shit. So, uh, you know, I hopped on the YouTubes because occasionally you'll find a few people who have purchased the event that are willing to share it with the rest of the YouTube community. Now, mind you, I haven't really been enjoying YouTube all that much lately. I'm finding that every time I go on there, there's less and less and less for me to see. Uh, all of my recommended videos, anything I search, the results are all videos with, you know, 100K uh, views. There's, it's just not a place for normal people anymore. YouTube is, is, is mainstream media. It's television. Um, I'm getting on a sidebar there, but you know, I I'm watching live and you know, cause somebody's, somebody's showing it. And the first thing that, that, uh, that happens is, uh, it, it absolutely preposterous, garbage performance by, uh, four, uh, rap dudes. But, you know, looking at the chat, I think there were like 7,000 people in the, in the one that I started out on. And I started to get this sensation like I used to from YouTube, you know, I'm seeing all the ridiculous spam. I'm seeing all the offensive words for no reason. Uh, you know, the vulgarity, the senselessness, they're all there. Everything is there and it's great. I'm, I'm watching these idiot rappers and I'm reading the chat and I'm like, yes, this is it. This, this chat room right here is full of us, you know, our, our, our people. It was really encouraging. Uh, It did, unfortunately, get taken down, as these things tend to do. So, you know, you pop Ben Askren versus Paul into the search bar, and you refresh, and you see what comes up. And there were a couple more, and all of them were taken down in a, in quick fashion. Uh, until something very interesting happened. What I started seeing were people live streaming with the title, uh, let's play Fortnite or, uh, you know, something about Fortnite. And the thumbnail would have, you know, Fortnite characters and it would have the video game, but you would click on the live stream and there's the fucking fight. This is brilliant. This is fucking brilliant. So here we are. We're back. We're, we're, we're back. We're watching the fight live. And this is what, uh, $60, $70 pay-per-view. I, I don't really know. There were maybe four or five fights, all of which were lackluster. I'm just going to tell you that. that there's your spoiler. They, they, all the fights were horrible. Uh, with the exception of one thing, uh, there was, uh, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to see the competitive slapping. Um, if I recall correctly, it was one bulbous gentleman with a with a beard versus one bulbous gentleman 
<clears throat> with green hair. Um, Ric Flair was the official for the event, which was absolutely incredible. Uh, you know, he Ric Flared it up. I mean, uh, he seemed to appreciate watching people really hit each other. Uh, and they had that, uh, guy, that comedian guy on the outside, Pete something or other, whatever. So watching this stream, this one gets taken down, but when you do the same thing, Ben Askren, uh, the Paul fight, you put it in the, in the search, same thing. Now I'm seeing more of them. Now I'm seeing, oh, Minecraft live play and, and Fortnite live play and this and that. And every single one, when you click on that bad boy, it's the motherfucking pay-per-view streaming absolutely free for everybody to see. It was then, my friend, that I realized that there was not but one main event this evening. There were two main events this evening. For you see, it was uh, Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. But perhaps more importantly, it was the YouTube community versus the overseers versus the copyright strikers versus the establishment. And we weren't taking no for an answer. So again, Fortnite live gameplay, Minecraft live play. Then we stepped up our game because there were more absolutely fucking retarded musical performances. But this time we were smart. We muted or the streamer, <clears throat> upon the suggestion of the chat, would mute their stream when a musical performance was happening. So the little algorithm robots, because there's probably nobody really listening and checking, they're relying on technology to catch this stuff for them. There's no way that somebody can sit there and monitor this shit. So by doing simple things like muting music when it's playing doesn't allow the computer to catch it. Taking it a step further, people were talking about Fortnite in the chat. Tons of Fortnite chat. Revive me. <clears throat> oh, is Ninja playing? What is Ninja doing? We are not watching Fortnite. But the algorithm, the fucking computer, the magic milkshake machine has no way to know what we're doing because we're talking about Fortnite. It's looking for music. It's looking for keywords. Hey, everybody's streaming the fucking fight for free. Put it, search for these keywords. Check it out. And if it's, if it's a stream, take the motherfucker down. How are you going to do that when the thumbnail is different, the title is different, and everybody in the fucking chat is talking about something different? My God. It was, uh, it was really, really a proud day uh, for the community. For us, for the people. Um, the evening progressed. I uh, I had finally become settled on a channel. Uh, I found somebody that had been on for a while. It was, I think his name was like Zayden Gustin or something like that. I'll give him a shout out because he blasted the longest out of everybody. Uh, and a, a couple of garbage fights. Um, Snoop Dogg was there. Snoop Dogg is an embarrassment, uh, by the way, in my fucking opinion. He has become a, like, a caricature of himself. Like, where, like, in the 90s when he was, like, you know, in the 90s he'd be like, yeah, you know, he's fucking cool and shit. And now he's, like, overly animated and he is gonna, you know, fast forward five years, he's gonna be fucking Flavor Flav. He just needs to go away. Uh, so a few more fights happen We're we're waiting for the main event. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Uh, I believe the, the precursor to the Jake Paul fight was, uh, a guy with blue hair versus a guy with braids. Uh, the guy with the blue hair pretended that he got hit in the balls and I wound up getting carried out on a stretcher. It was really, uh, 
interesting. But there was drama. Because this, this Zayden Gustin that was streaming was not playing by the rules. And there was a moment where we all, where time stood still. And we wondered, were we going to get all the way there? Were we going to get to that main event? Justin Bieber comes toddling out and uh, starts dancing and singing. And the guy doesn't mute it. As a matter of fact, <coughs> excuse me, he turns up the fucking volume. So here we have uh, Bieber uh, performing. The music is up. I'm waiting. I know that any second this is going to get taken down. I know it. The suspense, the tension, it, it was, it was uh, peaks and valleys the entire evening. But this Justin Bieber concert was the greatest cliffhanger of them all. Were we going to get through that concert? And my friends, by some miracle, we did it. We made it. We got through it. And, and that result was almost just as important as the result of the actual fight, the Jake Paul versus Ben fight. The results that I became more enthralled by, are we going to make it all the way through this before the fucking YouTube gods take this away from us? My friends, we did it. We made it through. I saw the fight, which probably cost, I don't know, I'm guessing 60 bucks. I saw it live and in color, and I saw it for free. It's not so much, you know, the, the thrill is not that I stole the pay-per-view, because I did. Uh, it, it's, it's not the thrill that I pirated the, the, uh, pirated the fight. The thrill is that we stole the fight. We pirated the fight. By the end of this motherfucker, there were so many live Fortnite gameplay and so many live Minecraft gameplay videos that these cats didn't stand a chance. I mean, think about that. 10,000 wahoos at their computers, uh, uh, vaping f cannabis, were able to defeat the great YouTube machine. It doesn't matter. The, Jake Paul didn't win. Ben Askren didn't win. You know who won? The people. <laughs> the people. Who achieved something and it, and it got me thinking that that is, that's the message. That's the, that's the excitement of it all. That's the intrigue. 7,000 people in a chat room, all making the decision that we're not going to talk about certain things. We're not going to use certain phrases, all agreeing. That when the music is on, we're going to mute the motherfucker. One movement. One, one voice. One goal. And we did it. You know, just think if you could take something like that. You know, such a, such a, 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 a minuscule thing. You know, think of that on a larger scale. Think of what we could do as a people, as a society. If we all, instead of fucking arguing with each other, and oh, I'm offended, and oh, this is horrible. If we turned off the fucking TV and stopped letting them placate to our fucking sensitivities, and we all had one common goal, the betterment of the people, 
and we all played by the same rules, what couldn't we accomplish? What couldn't we accomplish? There's more of us than there are YouTube administrators. We know that. We proved that tonight. I just think it's all very, very exciting. And uh, I just had to hop on here and share it while it was fresh in my mind. Uh, Again, I don't want to spoil the fight if you're interested in it. It, it's it's going to be a, a hot topic, so it's it's not going to be avoidable tomorrow. Um, my friends, togetherness. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening.